God, I had forgotten how creepy that opening is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my next playthrough. I am doing Dot Hack Sign series. Uh, well, Dot Hack Sign was the animated series, um, which is usually what everybody says when you talk about the Dot Hack series. Um, out of the three, the DVD, the video game, and the cartoon series, usually I hear more about the cartoon series than I do about the actual game. I'm going to show some... Oh, no, I don't need to see that again. <clears throat> Alright. Um, so, yeah, there were three series. The game series was probably lesser known. It had four games. The first series did, anyway. Uh, the other two series, I, I don't know how many games those had. I think they had four also. Um, but the very first series was the most popular, and it's the one I have all four games of. The other ones I don't really have, because I didn't like the other two series of the Dot Hack series as much as the very first series of the Dot Hack games. Ugh, it's a very complicated series. The Dot Hack series, it's super complicated. Um, I think it would take me a lot longer to describe <laughs> the game if, if uh, you know, I just sat here and tried to explain it to you. It would be way too complicated. So I'm just going to explain the premise of the game. Um... The game is about an MMORPG, very popular MMORPG in the future, called The World. It is a game that has taken up a whole bunch of people's time. Much like, uh, you want to think of it like on the terms of World of Warcraft, in the sense that it's incredibly popular and everybody plays it. The way you play it is you have this, um... Oculus Rift kind of Virtual Boy um, glasses. Anyway, you have like this um, Virtual Boy Oculus Rift thing going on. Um, and uh, you have a separate controller that's hooked up to the, to the visor. Which is what they're more known as. And, um, the visor projects an image as well as sound, uh, and something happened, and, well, I don't want to give away too much, uh, something happened, and a lot of people start going missing, or they become comatose, and, um, uh, basically this game is what is responsible for all the comatose victims. And despite all of this, for some reason, the game is not taken off the market, 
and they're still putting it out there and the comatose victims are you know pronounced like we don't know what's wrong with them like there's some kind of secret going on in the background that is um, basically preventing this game from being taken off the market um, a lot of the IRL the in real life situations that talk about um, the dot hack project uh, or not the dot the world project um, that's taken care of and explained in the DVD series that comes with the game uh, but unfortunately I cannot show you that as it is licensed by Bandai and it is it would technically be very illegal for me to show you the DVD collection um, but it is not, as far as I'm certain, illegal for me to show you the actual game itself. Uh, game was made by Bandai before they joined Namco Bandai. I would like to say that the Dot Hack series did very well for them, and it did when it first started out. But they got a little bit cocky, and then they made two other series. And those two did horribly, and nobody bought them, and they lost all the money they got from the original Dot Hack series. And uh, basically, they needed help, so that's when they partnered with Namco, who was also doing not that well at the time, because Tales of Legendia did not sell as well as they were hoping it would. Uh, I bought Tales of Legendia, and I can tell you it is probably the worst. Tales game in the series. It's certainly a fun series. It's certainly a fun game, but uh, out of all of the Tales of series, that is probably my least favorite. It is Tales of Legendia, and um, uh, I would tell you why, but I'm, that, I'm not doing a playthrough of that game. I'm doing a playthrough of this game, which is considerably a lot better. The Dot Hack Infection is the first game, and then it trails on to go to dot hack mutation and then dot hack outbreak and then dot hack quarantine which is the very last one of the first series um, I'm going to be doing all four of them so yeah good luck to me <laughs> because uh, these are very very long games they're not very short titles even though there are four games in the series they made it to where you would be playing them for a very long time and <laughs> You'll find out why. Ah, I hate it when games do this, just keep cutting back and forth from the opening to the... Uh, alright. Well, that's enough explanation of the game. Let's start it up. I do have old save data, so... Um, and as far as the game goes, I don't remember any of it, so this is going to be a treat for me as well. Movie time. Der Mann des Schattens, auf der Suche nach dem Habedrachen, ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helber, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alperon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten, ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann der Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. Okay, user registration is done. Now for a name. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Okay, you don't actually get to meet the character that you're playing as. Um... Uh, but you, of course, get to see his, um, standard character. Uh, he chooses, I, I'd like to call them rogue characters, character that uses dual blades. 
Um, as his character, you don't get to choose the class. The character you're playing as chooses the class, of course. All you get to choose is the name. The original name is Kite. Um, that's the default name for any of you that are watching this game series and have already seen the anime series. The two characters that are cores corresponding here, the character that you're playing as right now, who's playing the game The World for the first time, as opposed to the character who was in the animated series, who also was playing the game for the first time. He started a character with the same class, and he named it Kite. Despite what you might think, they're not the same characters. They're both two different characters. It's uh, it's not very well explained. It's mostly because of the coloring. Uh, to those who have played MMORPGs, they know that this is probably the biggest difference in uh, seeing two characters uh, side by side in an MMORPG. Probably the biggest difference you're going to see is the color of the character, as well as the name. But because the default character's name is Kite, both characters uh, in the two separate series, uh, <laughs> Yeah, the the one in the anime series just kept the default name of Kite because he didn't really give two shits about the game when he first started playing it. Uh, this character that you're playing as is considerably more invested in the game because his friend is already playing it. <laughs> um, which is also the case in the anime series, but the char but the the friend in in that game is far better at the game than he is and. He's only playing the game because his friend is playing it, while this this character that you're playing as in this game um, wants to play the game and is eager to get started. So let's give let's give him another name. Well, you know what? I think I'll just keep the name Kite. Eh, nah, I'll go with my name. It's less confusing for me. I really hope I didn't do that in the other save data, because if that's true, then I may have to change the name. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm kind of shaking right now, a little excited to play this game. It's been forever since I've played this game, and I really want to just... I want to beat it. I want to beat it, because I haven't beaten uh, the second game in the series. I beat the first one, but I couldn't beat the boss of the second game. And because of that, I haven't seen the entire series all the way through. It's a little creepy. The series is a little bit creepy. And that's another reason why I'm excited, because I like creepy pastas. So, this is kind of getting me all excited. Let's start this. Start it. Please enter your character's name. Oh, that's the username. Okay, yes, I get it. <laughs> and then the character's name, Kite. I think I'll keep that as Kite. Um... Because they want you to experience this game kind of like you're playing an MMORPG, you'll be seeing a lot of MMORPG elements in this game. Uh, I am not, of course, going to keep a lot of the boring stuff in the game, so if you see jump edits while I'm doing this playthrough, uh, it's because I probably had to do a whole lot of leveling up, or I had to... Uh, do some random missions that were not very exciting uh, and I'll just yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of editing with the series I know that because there are a lot of parts in this game that emulate an MMORPG and um, it makes them sort of boring but if you know how to go through the game then it's not as boring Alright, here, as it explains, uh, is the desktop. Like I said, they, they want this to be as much like an MMORPG as possible. So they give you a little desktop thing, and <laughs> it doesn't operate at all like a, a, a normal desktop. So, I don't even know why they call it a desktop, because right now what he's doing is he's viewing this through a visor, and I don't, I don't see why it would be called a desktop, but I <laughs> Alright, world, mail, news, it's 
important to look at the mail and the news and stuff like that if you're very interested in the story. And of course, there's the data save area here. And that's how you actually save data. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not data as in, oh, hey, how cute. They're just doing a little thing to simulate data save. But no, no, it's actually save your game. <laughs> um, the mail, um... What it is, is the mail inflects upon the story as far as... Eh, it kind of keeps the creepy element, like for some reason you'll start getting mail from people who you don't really know, but they're in the game. You just don't know who they are in the game. It, it gets really cool uh, and very complicated, like a, a mystery. It's a super mystery game, actually. <laughs> this is probably one of the most intriguing intriguing mystery games that I've, I've ever played in an RPG. Uh, I haven't played the Persona series, so I can't really um, judge them side by side, but in my opinion, I think this would probably be a bigger uh, mystery, and not only because <laughs> not only because it's four games, and in order to get the full gist of the series, you have to play all four games, but also because you have to watch the television series and the DVD series that comes with it. I mean, there's even talks that if you listen to the soundtrack, there are little hints in the soundtrack that tell you stuff. I mean, it's just really a rumor, but I can kind of see why. There are a lot of interesting lyrics in the soundtrack, which I have. I also have the series, the anime series. I, I just really like the series in general. And way back in, I think, what the hell was this made? 2002. 2001, I wasn't really playing that many games um, around that time period, so yeah. Let's read some mail. <laughs> CC Corporation version update, blah blah blah. <laughs> that type of shit you don't really need to um, read. Right here, it, it's, it's basically just telling you how to play the game. And this is just, you know, explaining certain aspects of the game. This, this is all like real shit right now. It's not, you know, trying to emulate something that you would receive in it while playing an MMORPG. Even though it does a good job of kind of, you know, making you feel that way. And here's a letter from your buddy Yasuhiko, uh, who has already been playing the game and he's eager to join. He, he, he's. He hasn't gotten that far in the game. He's basically you're his, his best friend, and it's like, yeah, because he moved. I think the story is he moved away, and um, uh, since he moved away, he haven't really had any friends, and because he had this game already, you bugged your parents to get it for you, and uh, now that you have the game, you can play with your friend, and, and that's a very common thing as far as internet gaming is concerned. Especially nowadays, but back then I really didn't get it. I was like, seriously? <laughs> back then, because I didn't really have the internet. I haven't. I, I was never a part of the internet until 2006. So I was like, wow, seriously, a person can get, get this invested? But it, it, it's all really relevant to the person. Hey, did you finish registering? What kind of character are you? Oh, and I look <laughs> and like I said at school, you'll regret it if you use a smart ass name. <laughs> I'm Orca, the world. I'm Orca in the world, so keep that in mind. Don't call me by my real name. You can be a different person when you're there. Well, like the other guy you want to be. Anyway, I'll be in at town. Town is basically your starting town. I, I don't really think it matters what class. <laughs> I'm, I'm just news. New transportation system is operational. This is where they talk about real life events that are going on. Now it's not really all that important, but uh, eventually new stories break that have to deal with the world. So reading them is kind of part of story is concerned so when it comes to stuff like this I'm just going to scroll around and you can pause the video and read it as much as you want so. these 
guys are pretty much just kind of talking about how popular the game is in real life. And this is the this is the device I was talking about earlier, the um, Oculus Rift slash Virtual Boy kind of visor thing that you wear on your head. It looks very comfortable, honestly. And if they did make something that looked like that, I would be okay with wearing it. It doesn't look like it would be really heavy. It looks like it, it really looks like it's just as light as a pair of glasses or something, you know. <coughs> and a 49% error rate. Oh, mm, interesting. Official statement. Yeah, the Pluto kiss instant. I really like that this is also taking place <laughs> in the time period in which we've already gone past. Or actually, I think we're already in. Yeah, the the incident from the beta testing of the world happened in, yeah, as it shows here, 2005. to do a lot of reading as far as tutorials were concerned. Uh, let's just go through this shark. I didn't know. Oh, oh, shit, these are, this, these are like forum boards, I just realized. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, back then, I probably wouldn't have known what the hell this was about. I was like, what the hell is all this? Are people talking? Is this like mail or something? There's a skill I have that I can't use. Why is that? <laughs> These all seem like actual conversations that you would see online. It's funny. You can't, it would seriously suck when you have to heal your friend. <laughs> First part of this playthrough, me doing nothing but reading. Also, just so you guys know, uh, I am going to be making these longer than my usual videos. I'm not going to be making them 10 minute videos. <laughs> these may exceed 30 minutes. Because usually I do 10 minute videos, but I will never get through this series that way. <laughs> By the time I get done playing this entire series, it will be like 2020 or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Play knowledge. They're so strong. The enemies. They're so strong. I can't win. I suck at playing video games. Please help me. Forum. Question. Number 40. How is that before? Because it is kind of interesting to read the boards because every now and then people will comment on the board saying stuff like there was a weird glitch that happened and blah 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 and I don't understand what it was about and of course the forum information changes all the time congratulations the interesting thing about some of these is uh, a lot of this stuff is happening happening in the um, DVD series and the anime series. So, if you're someone who is interesting in investing a lot of time learning about this series, then you may want to check out the anime series and DVD series, just in case you know you want to be all caught up and you want to say to yourself, "Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw them." doing something like that in the anime series and it's also in the video game series how cool is that um i don't really think i'll have any links in the description because that's obvious i they would probably lead to pirated stuff and <laughs> uh so you can probably just find them on the internet 
the series, the dot hack series is pretty popular. You'll probably be able to find the anime series. That and the the first anime series only had two seasons, so there aren't that many episodes. You could probably get through the entire series in one day. <clears throat> the DVD series, however, might be more difficult to come by. You might not find that on a place like YouTube. And I really don't know where it is that I could tell you to get it. I mean, they may have it available on Netflix or something, but I, I don't see why you would want to pay. I'm not telling you to pay money for stuff. Pig? <laughs> you can find food for Grunties. Oh, Grunties are kind of like little animals that you raise in this game. They became very popular. Sorry if I seem really distracted right now. There's way too much going on outside. And people make way too much noise out there. I really hate having to get out of my seat and telling people to shut up, but... When it has to be done, I'm going to do it. If any of you find me scrolling too fast, annoying, um... Sorry. I mean, you could post it in the comments asking me to maybe scroll a little bit slower if you want to read this. Or maybe you're not, you know, able to hit the pause button fast enough because I'm scrolling too fast. <laughs> I don't want to go too fast. I want you guys to be able to read this. I'm not about to read out loud. I have dyslexia, and honestly, it will, you know, interfere with the way I'm reading stuff. And I know you guys don't want to hear that. I will, however, read important stuff like text boxes um, when people are talking to each other, one another. <clears throat> you know, stuff that's not voice acted. <laughs> A lot of stuff that I already know. It is also advised to equip armor, because running around naked is not advisable. <laughs> the thing is in, in this game, is this is comparably uh, to a game like World of Warcraft, this, is, this game, the world, is probably like really shitty. And it's funny, because this game is supposed to be set in the future. <laughs> uh, so... I can't really make out the date of what year this is. I, I can't. The text is way too small to see what date this is. What, what date these forums are. This is when they're talking about the elemental differences. But typically elemental differences are all the same in every single game. Water is strong against fire, fire is strong against grass, and grass is strong against water. <laughs> Simple Pokemon logic. Alright, items are turned and that's it. Ah, finally, done reading. Alright everyone, I think this is where I'm going to end the first video, and I will see you next time. I hope I explained everything well enough.